All right, we're ready for our fifth uh, candidate to speak. Our fifth candidate is going to be Roke Zeller. He's also a Republican candidate. And so Roke's gonna join us up here in a second. I can just get my switch to change the screen here. Okay. All right, hand for Roke Zeller, Republican candidate for Port Guy Commissioner. My name is Roke Zeller, and I'm running for the Republican nomination for the uh, for county commissioner for the seat left open uh, by Chris Smiles. He's not running for re-election. Uh, the primary will be March 6th of 2012. Um, I've lived um, my entire life in neighboring Kent and Brimfield. I'm a 1990 graduate of Theodore Roosevelt High School and a 1995 graduate of Kent State University. I work full-time for Rubbermaid and part-time for South Franklin Circle. Um, I am active in uh, more than one uh, nonprofit organization, but I'm an officer for two. I'm the president of the Theodore, Theodore Roosevelt Alumni Association, and I'm treasurer for Kent Dudinsa uh, Slovakia Sister Cities. Um, one thing I'd like to um, mention before I continue on here is how much I appreciate the fact that you folks are here with me because for about 20 years from the time I was a freshman in college, I was one of the few conservatives working for conservative candidates and conservative causes. Uh, conservative candidates like uh, Twyla Roman, who uh, I helped beat a 22-year uh, incumbent, Tom Cease, and then her successor, Mary Taylor. Uh, I've been active in Right to Life. Uh, I worked very hard on the petition drive and then uh, the successful passing of the Marriage Protection Amendment. And uh, all those years that I was going door-to-door uh, -door in late winter and early spring, I could tell you that it felt pretty lonely in Portage County, so I'm glad that you folks are here with me now. Now, why am I running? Well, it's been grim in Portage County economically for quite a long time, but there's hope for major jobs growth in the energy sector. There's quite a, there's quite a bit of economic development going on uh, with the horizontal drilling that's going deep into the Utica Shale of Eastern Ohio. In fact, we're already starting to see some of the um, positive domino effects. Kevin Fowler and I went out to uh, Girard in neighboring Trumbull County to see the new $650 million steel plant that, has, that is almost complete that will employ 350 steel workers to build the special uh, steel tubes or pipes for the horizontal drilling. And I guarantee you that that uh, plant is going to be em em employing people from Portage County. It's going to be employing people from all over. Um, in fact, uh, if you go to my website, uh, www.wrogzeller.com, uh, there's a picture of that steel plant with me and Kevin standing in front. In fact, uh, there's, there's a little card on your table here. And uh, if you want to little, know a little bit about me and Kevin Fowler sort of running as a team, uh, that card will tell you uh, the beliefs that we share in common. Um, what kind of major jobs growth are we going to see? Well, the community colleges of Eastern Ohio that are going to provide the environmental and safety courses uh, for the workers employed in the energy sector, they estimate that the economic development in, with the, associated with the uh, horizontal drilling will produce 200,000 jobs. And I believe them because it's already produced hundreds of thousands of jobs in Pennsylvania, in Pennsylvania where my folks live. But here's the problem. You have many on the left, including Obama and his friends, who want to put obstacles in the way of this economic development. They want to have more studies. Well, in my opinion, we've had enough studies. Our hurting families need jobs now. We've had study upon study upon study. If you're an elderly couple and you have the opportunity to sign a lease for drilling on your land, you deserve that opportunity to sign that lease and enjoy your retirement. 
you could be dead by the time they complete the next study. It's time that we allow our hurting families, it's time that we allow our hurting families to get jobs now. It's time that our elderly couples in this the county get to enjoy their retirement now. Now, this, this horizontal drilling is already heavily regulated, and I mean heavily regulated, by the Ohio Department of Natural Resources. But what we can do in Portage County is we can provide incentives to all the support industries that are associated with this new economic development. Let me give you an example. On Fairchild Avenue, where I live in Kent, uh, Mack Trailer just went moved into the vacant Fontaine facility. And over 40 of the tanker trailers that they built in, in less than a year of operation are now going to the petroleum and natural gas fields of North Dakota, Wyoming, and Montana. And pretty soon, those tanker trailers are going to be going to the petroleum and natural gas fields of Ohio. And by next year, they're supposed to employ 250 people, mostly welders, but that's 250 more people employed in Portage County. And I think it's important that we're aggressive in providing incentives because we want those industries here. We don't want them moving to Cuyahoga County or Summit County or Stark County. We want them in here in Portage County employing people from our hurting families. Another way we can help is by providing bulk water sales to the contractors that provide the water for the fracking operations. Tommy Joe Marsilio is already pursuing uh, that avenue and the county plans to make money off of selling bulk water sales through Portage County Water Resources. And that'll be a good revenue stream for Portage County so that we're not raising taxes on you folks. This is also going to be very helpful for the home values in Portage County. You know, we already have uh, a lot of good infrastructure here, a lot of good institutions. We've got Hiram College, Kent State University, uh, Northeast Ohio Medical College. Those are good reasons for families to move here. And so they've already got other incentives to move here. And if they have jobs here, then they're going to be, they want to be, first of all, they're going to want to be close to work, okay? And they're going to want to be close to institutions where they can uh, send their kids for studies. And that's going to improve, and if that all happens, that's going to improve our home values and our property values a lot more quickly than other areas of this state or other areas of this nation. What I, well, let me tell you what, what I'm about in general. I, I'm about moving this county forward. I'm not going to tolerate those who, you know, want the same old, same old. I'm not going to tolerate the folks who want to put obstacles in the way of jobs growth. We need to move forward. And that's why I'm asking for your support. Because you're going to be critical to, you're going to be critical if we uh, are to pursue these, av these opportunities for major jobs growth. And I would very much appreciate uh, any contact, any questions. Uh, you know that I work very hard and I would uh, very much appreciate any help that you folks can give me. Uh, thanks so much for your time. God bless you.